I'm going to use the square root property to solve this equation. And um, so this means that I'm going to take the square root of both sides in order to get rid of this square. And to get to this x, make sure this x is by itself on one side of the equation. So I'm going to start out by taking the square root of both sides. Remember, when you take the square root, it's plus or minus. The square root of x minus 7 squared is just x minus 7. There's no more radical anymore, and there's no square. Um, the square root of 54, um, that can be simplified square root of 54, I want to write that as the square root of 9 times 6. Now, there's other ways to write 54, but this is the best way to write it, 9 times 6. I'm writing this as a product of two numbers, and one of the numbers is the largest perfect square, which is 9. So now, the square root of 9, that's 3 times the square root of 6. 6 is not a perfect square, so we have to leave that under the radical sign. Okay, and the last thing I need to do is just add 7 to both sides, and I'll have x by itself on one side of the equation. Okay, so the answer here is 7 plus 3 square root of 6, comma, 7 minus 3 square root of 6. And that's it.